you gotta just press record. One of the best investments you can make if you are getting into live streaming or even podcasting is a microphone that can do it all. Why not buy a mic that in any use case scenario, you can actually use it? And that's why I loved the Shure MV7 when it first came out. And it's still a very popular mic at $250. You're getting a mic that has an XLR output, a USB output to use with your computer or laptop, and a headphone jack so that you can monitor your audio. And there's also a lot of more features that I wanna talk about in this video about the MV7. But then I stumbled on the Samson Q9U. This microphone at $50 less, coming in at $170 at the time of shooting this video here in the US, comes with essentially everything that the Shure MV7 comes with when it comes to the XLR, USB, and headphone output. Now, what you're hearing right now is the Samson Q9U, and I would love to know your thoughts, what you think of the difference as I switched from the MV7 to the Q9U. And I really, uh, real quick, the similarities, you know, when it comes to these mics, number one is that they both have a yoke type of system. This is the best case when you're putting it on a boom arm or even a tabletop stand like you see right now, uh, because it actually has the ability to maneuver whether you want it to hang or stand on its own. Now, like I mentioned before, they have the same ports on the back. I would say the biggest difference though is that the Samson Q9U actually has uh, the switches analog wise to be able to increase your mids as well as uh, bring a high pass as well. Now that doesn't mean you can't do that with the MV7 because when you get the MV7 at $250, it actually comes with a free software that allows you to manipulate the audio that it's producing. So you can really customize the way your voice is sounding based off of how you prefer, whether you want more high end and more low end, and then create presets off of those settings, which is super nice. However, this is only affected when using the mic as a USB mic. So if you're only doing it with live stream Zoom calls and things like that, whereas the Samson Q9U has it on the mic itself, affecting the XLR use and the USB mic use. So this is the Samson Q9U, a XLR and USB microphone, testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing, one, two. And this is the Shure MV7, a staple when it comes to podcasts, live streams, and music. Um, not the best mic for vlogging, but this is a test, test, one, two. Now, when I was testing these mics out side by side with the XLR capability with Kyle, we found that the MV7 definitely has a louder presence and doesn't need much because it works straight into plugging it into whatever is giving it phantom power. Now, when we listened to the Q9U's audio from the XLR test, there was definitely some noise uh, where you wanted the volume to be. So where you'll want like a cloud lifter, if you are using this mic as an XLR mic, I would encourage you to potentially get one so that you can minimize some of that noise that you get when you're putting it at the volume you want it at. But just wanted to throw it out there and I'll be sure to post links to everything down in the description below just so you can reference updated pricing and check out used deals on Amazon. Now I would say right off the bat that you can't go wrong with either of these mics. Both of these mics are great for live streaming and podcasting, which leads me to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Riverside FM. Riverside is one of the leading podcasts podcast and video recording platforms you can use to conduct interviews or video podcasts and things like that. Gary Vee and Mark Zuckerberg actually use Riverside to conduct their interview. And it's super crispy because it actually is a web-based software that saves onto their server. So you're not at the mercy of somebody's internet. So when you're conducting an interview or a live stream, you're actually getting your video and audio captured in very high quality and it's not compromised for other uses. I used to use Zoom to conduct interviews and it actually just would compromise the quality no matter what kind of camera or audio solution I'd use. But what's so cool about Riverside is that they maintain the quality of your video and audio no matter where you are. There's definitely a reason why over 70,000 people use Riverside. And if you actually wanna try Riverside yourself today, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. Now to kind of go off script, and I'm not like an audio snob, you know, I'm definitely someone who just listens to the audio. Does it sound good or does it not? Uh, I know there's great videos on each of these mics on YouTube. If you wanna go deeper on each of these mics, be sure to like do some of your research. But I don't pixel peep video, photo, or even audio. I definitely just like at face value, like, you know, when I did the XLR test, I was kind of bummed to see that there was a little bit more noise in the Q9U. However, I would say on like a physical standpoint, I would say that the Q9U is kind of a vibe, especially when you remove the wind muff. Let me remove it right now. 
and this is how it sounds without it on, but it looks like a Rode pod mic, which a lot of people love. And the fact that the pod mic isn't a USB mic, and that's just an XLR mic with a yoke, uh, that just for $70 more, you get that ability with a USB, and that this mic is awesome as a USB mic. But this uh, kind of like design up top is definitely cool, especially when you have it in the shot. And both of these mics are dynamic mics, meaning you want them about fist length distance from your mouth if you want the best sounding audio possible. But I definitely love that dynamic mics give you that rich radio podcast sound. And it does that because it's eliminating a lot of the sound around uh, the room. And so if you're shooting in a more echoey room or what have you, having a mic like this is great. Like you have your mute button on top and then you have all your ports in the back. Also like how the Samson has a USB-C USB output as opposed to the MV7 having a micro USB output. So just something about the security of plugging in a USB-C, it just feels better. And that like in most cases I have USB-C ports and so just a cable that works on both ends, even though they provide each of these mics, they provide in the box uh, whatever cable you may need. Now when it comes to the MV7, you can see these lights on top of the mic and these lights kind of show you a few different things. Number one, it shows you the input gain uh, that you have the mic set to at the color green. And then if you wanna see your headphone level, that'll be the color orange. And they've actually added some updates on the Shure Motif app that will update the firmware of this mic and give you the ability to shut off those lights if you don't want them, which is nice. Uh, but this is a touch kind of bar and you actually have the ability to mute the mic with a touch, which is super nice and convenient in my opinion. Now I know that the Shure MV7 became really popular really quick because it looked very similar to the famous Shure SM7B, which is a $400 microphone that's just a XLR dynamic mic that requires a lot of things to make it work. Uh, and so like for a cheaper price, it was actually great at 250, right? You felt like you were getting a deal. You felt like you were getting the Shure SM7B for $250. And actually when I was using this mic, you know, for my live streams and stuff like that, I found out from a YouTuber, his name is Patrick Tomaso that he actually puts an SM7B windscreen on the MV7 and it actually makes it look almost exactly like the SM7B. But all that to say, that's kind of like a niche thing. I think a lot of people are you know, stepping into, they're like, man, that's the mic of podcasting. But at face value, I would say the Q9U looks good and it definitely sounds good. And I mean, you know, when you're really considering investing in something, you may want multiple mics, you know? And so for the Samson to be $50 cheaper, it actually allows you to invest in more accessories. Uh, maybe you need the headphones you want, or you want a boom stand that can hold the mic on a table or what have you. But nonetheless, let me know down in the comments below what you think of these mics, which one you think looks best, which one do you think sounds best, and do you prefer those features on the Shure Motif app to use as a USB mic, as opposed to the Samson's on and off switch? Would love to know down in the comments below. And if you actually wanna see a video on a $70 microphone that Samson has, it's actually the Q2U. I would deem this as the best mic under about 100 bucks because it actually has the same features, the XLR, the USB capability, and the headphone monitoring for around $70. Check out that video by clicking or tapping the screen, or you can check out another video from Think Media, but I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.